Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to Ellie's Kitchen. <clears throat> Today we have a short but sweet little recipe. Remember when I tell you waste not, want not. Well, last night we had some grilled chicken. And so we have reserved this chicken, boneless chicken breast that was left over. So what do you think I'm going to do with this boneless chicken breast? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to make buffalo chicken egg rolls. How you do that? Okay, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take our chicken and we're going to put it in our food processor. So you see that we have these little cutlets. We're going to put it in our food processor. And that was our remaining chicken. We're going to take one eight ounce pack of cream cheese. We're gonna, sorry about that guys. We're gonna break some pieces of that cream cheese on each side. Okay, and then we're gonna put, my hands is a little bit messy with that cream cheese, but that's all good. We're going to put that hot sauce on top of our cream cheese and our grilled chicken and that food processor. We're going to put that lid on. And we're going to pulse it. Still have chicken that is not grounded up all the way. So we Pulsing that chicken with that cream cheese. Okay, we need to take that lid off. And here we go, guys. We have that chicken with that, um, that cream cheese and that hot sauce. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do my egg rolls. And I'm sorry that I'm not giving you my face, but we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you how we're gonna roll those egg rolls. Now, I am not perfect. Maybe you might say I even need to take some lessons. But we're gonna come back and we're gonna roll the buffalo chicken egg rolls, my style. All right, guys, I'm back. So, you guys got to remember, I said that I was not perfect at rolling this egg roll. So, my Asian people and whoever else that are perfectionists at rolling these egg rolls, please cover your eyes and just forgive me. I'm just going to do the best that I can. So, we have our buffalo chicken mix here. And we have our egg rolls. So... I'm just going to put some buffalo chicken mixture in the center, and I'm going to put it in the center of all of them. Let okay, give you a closer look. I'm going to put it in the center of all of them. This thing fell a little bit further down than I would like. There. Okay, and I'm putting it in the center. Okay. So we're going to do four. Start it off with four. And we already have that heat in the pan. Oh, there we go. It dropped again. Duh. Man, this is working my last nerve. All right. Here we go. Here we go again. <laughs> Come on. I need my people to see this. Steady, steady, steady. There. There we go. All right. So we're putting it in the center. And we're just going to fold in, tuck, and roll. I 
does that look? Does that look okay, guys? They're like different sizes that let you know I'm not perfect at this. And I have that oil heating up in the pan. It's ready to rock and roll. So we have four egg rolls. So the part that was sealed, I'm going to put that facing down. When I came up with this recipe, my daughter and I were doing a food challenge. And we started off with appetizers. And I did the buffalo chicken egg rolls. They were a hit, but they didn't win. <laughs> my daughter beat me because she made samosas. Those samosas went over well. I was very proud of her because... It showed that she was listening to me when I was trying to teach her how to cook. Now she's 22 years old and she's out of the house and she's on her own. There are times that she'll still call me, Mom, how much to put in this and how much to put in that? But for the most part, she's grown up to be an excellent cook. Anytime she beat her mama in a food challenge, you know. Okay, guys, we're going to let these fry on up. Look at them so far. Look at them so far. What y'all think? Y'all think they're going to be good? I think they're going to be great. I think they're going to be great. And these are like really good to make for like movie night. You have some leftover chicken. Or maybe you just even do some chicken. But this was just nothing near but some old grilled chicken that I made over a tall salad. It's been hot. Nobody really feels like a hot meal. We just make a salad. And we had some chicken left. And I said, we're not going to throw that away. That's a whole nother snack. Or something else to eat from that. There's too much going on in the world to be wasting food. So how's everybody week? I really miss being with you guys. I really miss cooking with you guys. This week has been, for me, like a testy week. You know, there's a lot of negativity in the air. A lot of negativity at the workplace. But uh, thank God everybody got it together. I just think this pandemic is annoying everyone. Everybody is over it. You know, people want to do things that they can't do, or people sick and tired of the hot mess. But all I have to say is, just continue to pray and hold on. If God kept you this far, he's going to continue to keep you, if you want to be kept. I know y'all. These egg rolls are looking mighty, 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 mighty tasty. I have to show you guys one. I have to show you guys. Look at this, guys. Look. Aren't they beautiful? They are so beautiful. I got some on my hands. Let me wash my hands off. And I'm just going to put a paper towel over my egg rolls to get some of that grease. Let's just put 
it on the plate like so. Look guys, there you have it. Buffalo chicken egg rolls. And what would be good with this is some blue cheese dressing to dip these buffalo chicken egg rolls in. I'm going to let them cool off before I indulge. But I pray you guys have a blessed weekend. I told you it was going to be short but sweet because we worked with some chicken that we already had. So I'm sorry you guys didn't see how I blackened the chicken. But I just wanted to give you some ideas on what to do if you have some leftover chicken or anything. You can have buffalo shrimp egg roll. You know, what sticks it together is that 8 ounce cream cheese with some hot sauce. That's when it becomes buffalo and then you can dip it in your blue cheese dressing. You see? So, that's it for now. I pray you guys have a blessed weekend. I can't wait until I'm back with you guys again. This is L.A. Kitchen coming at you with buffalo chicken egg rolls.